Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Alexandra Renslow. Summer is showing its power as temperatures climb into a danger zone. The National Weather Service warns temperatures in the 90s will combine with high humidity to yield dangerous heat. As Shannon Slatten reports, those most at risk are the elderly, small children, and pets. When it comes to heat warnings, children are at the top of the list to watch. They have a harder time regulating their, their body because of the lack of surface area. So um, an adult ha is able to get more heat out and uh, a child doesn't have as much surface area to do that. On a day like today, safety means keeping kids cool. Maybe it's a day to go to the lake or stay in the AC. Parents should keep an even closer eye on babies. If they're not feeding right, if they're really fatigued, if they're more sleepy than usual. I would say no baby should be out in the heat. It's, it's really not appropriate. They, they have a, like I said before, they have a very difficult time regulating their temperature. Hennepin County has released an interactive map of places where you can get cool if you need to. And that includes places like community centers, public libraries, and shopping centers. Dogs and cats and animals in general can get heat stroke just like with humans. Pets also can't always speak up for themselves and say they are too hot. With heat stroke and dogs and cats, you'll see them like laying on the ground, panting heavily. So it will look like they just ran a mile even though they've just been sitting there. Dr. Dimmick says always have water on hand and keep pets cool at home. Be wary of taking pets on errands in the car. If you have to bring them somewhere, just have someone else in the car with them with the AC blaring. Within five minutes, that car can get way over 140 degrees inside. So deaths can happen and it happens a lot, unfortunately. In Golden Valley, Shannon Slatten, CCX News. Many people are trying to stay cool with a dip in the pool. Reporter Sonia Goins joins us now from the Crystal Cove Aquatic Center. Hi, Sonia. Alex, it's so hot out of here. I'm tempted to jump in the pool with my clothes on. It is so packed out here. The doors opened at 1 and folks were lined up to get in. As you can see, uh, who can blame them? There's so much things to see and do here. There are several slides and water fountains for the little kids. But again, it's really, really hot. It's about 100 degrees. It's very easy to suffer from heat exhaustion. So the lifeguards are keeping an extra eye on folks to make sure they don't get sick. They're also doing things to help prevent themselves and protect them from getting heat stroke. Today the lifeguards are going to be taking breaks in the water. Some of their stands, they will be in the water actively watching the patrons, but staying cool with that. Um, we've bought some nice cold popsicles for them to have on their breaks, and then they'll be drinking lots of water, staying under the umbrellas and in the shade during their shifts. There are about 10 lifeguards on staff right now, but because it's so hot and it's so crowded, they're calling in additional help. Now, Alex's pool stays open until 8.30. Plenty of time for you to come out here and join me. Live in Crystal, Sonia Goins, CCX News. I like, I like the way you're thinking, Sonia. Thanks a lot.